Zellers was a Canadian discount department retail chain that opened in 1931 and closed as a chain in 2013. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified of my latest videos. Please hit that like button and leave a suggestion or a comment. You might see that in a future video. Thanks for watching and now back to a regular scheduled program. This Christmas, people will be unwrapping a lot more than ever. Because now at Zellers, you'll find more of the savings you're wishing for on more great Christmas gifts than ever before. So don't miss out on a big Christmas at Zellers, where you can give more and get more savings, more rewards, more money back. Zellers with the lowest prices. The company was founded in 1931 by Walter P. Zeller as stores for thrifty Canadians. On Saturday, August 4, 1928, Zeller's Limited was born in London, Ontario. Zeller, its founder, opened his new store and head office at 176 Dundas Street after working for years for Metropolitan Stores, Woolworth Company, and Kresge's. This new store was to be part of a chain of Canadian department stores. The London store had a street frontage of 53 feet and a depth of 137 feet. It had a total of 7,000 square feet of space on the ground floor with 2,000 square feet of counter space spread around the store. 60 women were hired for the opening day working in 21 different departments. Within months, Zellers was doing such good business that they were bought out by American firm Schultz United Limited. Within two years, the rebranded stores went bankrupt. Walter Zeller promptly bought most of the failed Schultz stores and relaunched Zeller's in late 1931. The chain began with the purchase of the 14 Canadian locations of the American retailer, all of which were in southern Ontario. Almost immediately, Zeller's initiated an aggressive expansion strategy. In 1952, in a move to expand in the Atlantic Canada, it acquired the Federal Stores chain of variety stores, adding an additional 12 new Zellers locations. By 1956, Zellers operated 60 stores and employed 3,000 people. During this period of expansion, Zellers concluded a deal with W.T. Grant, a similar chain of American mass merchandise department stores. This arrangement allowed W.T. Grant to purchase 10% of Zellers shares and eventually a 51% ownership in 1959. In exchange, the Grant Company made available to Zellers its experience in merchandising, real estate, store development, and general administration. Zeller's employees were sent to Grant stores and head office for training and the two companies made common buying trips to East Asia. Stores opened in 1960 employed many new innovations including the first in-store restaurant, the first automotive center, and the first suburban location. By 1973, the retailer known as Zellers, or Zeller in Quebec, the company dropped the apostrophe from its name to become Zellers. In 1975, Zellers changed the logo to the one it would keep for its remaining 45 years. By 1976, good year, Zellers had grown to a chain of 155 stores with annual sales of $407 million. Although Zellers was prospering, W.T. Grant was facing intense competition in the United States and was forced to withdraw entirely from its Canadian operations. In 1976, Fields, a clothing retailer based in Vancouver, British Columbia, offered to purchase a 50% stake in Zellers for $32.6 million. Zeller's shareholders didn't like that idea of becoming a subsidiary of Fields, reversed the takeover and purchased Fields and its hardware store division, Marshall Wells. This sale 
added 70 field stores and 162 franchise Marshall Wells stores to the company. In 1978, Zellers presented a bid to acquire 100% ownership of the Hudson Bay Company. HBC management, recognizing Zellers' profitability and the potential to enter a new retail segment, decided to purchase Zellers instead. Zellers and Fields, operating in very different retail segments from HBC, was kept intact and established as separate divisions of the company. HBC acquired full ownership of Zellers and Fields in 1981 and Marshall Wells in 1982. By the 1980s, Zellers had successfully made themselves Canada's largest retailer. In 1990, Hudson Bay Company acquired the 51 stores of Towers Bonamart chain from the Oshawa Group and converted most of them to Zellers outlets, including its flagship location in Toronto. Zellers advertisements at the time featured both the Towers mascot Sparky and the Zellers mascot Zeddy walking arm in arm. During this period, Zellers used the slogan, where the lowest price is the law. In 1993, Hudson Bay Company purchased the assets of the bankrupt Woodward's chain, including 21 store locations. These were converted into Zellers and Bay stores and greatly expanded the company's presence in Western Canada. In 1998, Hudson's Bay Company acquired Kmart's Canadian division and merged it with Zellers division to create a larger combined chain under the Zellers name. While some Kmart locations were closed, many sites became full Zellers outlets. In 2006, Hudson Bay's company was taken private by South Carolina businessman Jerry Zucker. In Hudson Bay's company last year as a publicly traded company, Zellers had 291 stores and lost $107 million on sales of $4.2 billion. Following Zucker's death in 2008, Hudson's Bay Company and its subsidiaries, including Zellers, came under the ownership of New York-based company NRDC Equity Partners. The Zellers chain continued to struggle and was seen as a drag on the parent company and its American owner. In January of 2011, it was announced that the U.S. retail chain Target Corporation would purchase the lease agreements of up to 220 Zeller stores for $1.8 billion. Under the agreement, Zellers would sublease the properties and continue to operate them as Zeller locations until January 2012 at the earliest, and at the latest, the end of March 2013. At the time of this announcement, Zellers operated 273 stores. Upon the announcement, it was reported that once the Zeller stores at these locations were closed, Target would renovate 100 to 150 of them to reopen the stores under the Target banner during 2013 and 2014. The remaining acquired sites would be transferred to other retailers. In March of 2012, the first 50 Zeller stores were put into liquidation. This included all 39 Zeller stores slated to become Walmart outlets. By mid-June, the latter locations were closed to the public. On June of 2012, 17 more stores in Ontario were put in liquidation. Hudson's Bay Company announced on July 26, 2012 that it would close most of the 64 remaining stores that were supposed to continue operating as Zeller's outlets. Closings of these stores were to happen at the latest on March 31st, 2013, which co coincided with the deadline date for HBC had to vacate the sites acquired by Target. The HBC's main reason for closing all the 64 remaining stores was due to Zeller's lack of profitability. After the deal with the Target Corporation, HBC still had a burden and a half of the $226 million of Zeller's lease obligations remaining through 2016, with the rent for 2012 alone being almost half of HBC's adjusted profit. With HBC preparing its initial public offering in late 2012, it either had terminated these liabilities with landlords 
at deep, steep discounts or find new tenants to sublet the space. Well, it was once a Canadian retail giant. Now it's on the verge of completely disappearing. Ottawa is home to one of only two remaining Zeller stores, and they are both now slated for closure. More from our consumer reporter, Michael O'Byrne. Graham and Patricia, at its peak, Zeller's had 350 stores across Canada, with sales close to half a billion dollars annually. Now there's about to be nothing left but the memories. Owner, the Hudson's Bay Company, plans to close both in the coming months. I'm disappointed. I'd like to see it stay. It's a Canadian icon. Tree, Zellers was losing money. Over the past 20 years at Walmart, competitors like Walmart had eaten into profits. In 2013, Target acquired all Zellers locations and rebranded most of them. But by 2015, Target was gone and a few Zellers stores reopened. Its iconic run is about to come to an end. Well, brings me There's no official closing date for the Bell's Corners location, but there is still plenty of stock in store, and one employee told me it likely won't happen until after Christmas. In late August 2021, HBC relaunched the Zellers brand as a pop-up shop within a Hudson Bay department store located at the Burlington Centre Mall in Ontario essentially a store within a store concept. It was intended to invoke a fun and nostalgic experience, according to HBC. If this concept proves successful, more locations could potentially use this concept in the future. So what are your favorite memories of this iconic Canadian department store? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.